Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I have come up with one more logic building problem that is weight of a hill pattern. So the problem is you will be given three inputs where input one represents the total levels in the hill pattern, input two represents the weight of the head level in the hill pattern and input 3 represents the weight to be incremented for each subsequent level in the hill pattern. That is total levels represents the number of rows in the hill pattern, head level represents the first level that is the first row in the hill pattern where weight of a level represents the value of each star in that particular row. So by considering these inputs, you are supposed to find the total weight of the hill pattern. Here I have shown how the hill pattern will be looking like. So in the first row you can see one star, second row you can see two stars, third row you can see three stars, fourth row you can see four stars. So this will continue up to the level n. And I have taken two of the test cases. In first example, you can see input 1 is 4. That means the total rows will be 4. Input 2 is 1. That is the weight of the first row is 1. Input 3 is 5. That is each and every subsequent level should be incremented by weight 5. That's what these three inputs represent. And the output, that is the weight of hill pattern with the given three input values will be 110. And the explanation of that beside I have given. So, as you can see from this hill pattern, first row weight is 1, which we can understand from input 2. And subsequent levels, weight should be incremented by input 3 value which is 5. So second row you will be having 2 stars whose weight are incremented by 5 you got this 6 plus 6 and third row again weight has to be incremented by 5 with the 3 stars so you can see 11 plus 11 plus 11 and similarly fourth row again containing 4 stars with incremented weight of 5. So by uh, computing this, you are going to get this particular 110. Similarly, example 2 also you can understand. So there are total 5 levels and first row weight is 10 and each subsequent row weight has to be incremented by 2. And with these 3 input values, you are supposed to return the weight of the hill pattern which you are going to get it 230. Beside you can find the explanation. So this is what the problem statement. How you are supposed to calculate the weight of a hill pattern with the given input values. So it's a very very simple problem. Let me show my code so that you can easily understand it. And let me first run both the test cases. So in example 1 I have taken. 4, 1, 5. So with those values you can see you are getting the weight of the hill pattern as 110. Let me run through the second test case also. So with the total levels 5, starting weight 10, incrementer level 2. So there you can see 230. It's a very very simple problem. So as said in my previous videos, in the placement exam you are not going to read any inputs. So you start writing only from here. So i and j for loops purpose I have taken. Some variable I am taking for calculating the total weight. And it is initialized to input 2 because input 2 contains the weight of the first level. And I have taken a temporary variable whose value is initialized to input 2. This temporary variable I have taken for performing the 
incrementer level subsequent levels wait purpose i have taken this temporary variable and this is the logic behind this particular problem since already the first level weight is initialized to sum i am running the loop from 1 onwards because level 0 is already initialized into the sum value that's the reason from second level onwards we are computing the weight and temporary variable as mentioned in order to compute the subsequent levels weight i have taken that since i am computing this particular weight calculation from second level onwards so second level onwards each star is going to get the weight of the incremented value that is in input 3 that's why temp equal to temp plus input 3 and once this particular block is executed you have that weight of the hill pattern computed to some variable so that's what i am just displaying on my desktop in the placement exam you are going to replace this particular system dot out dot print by return statement so this is how you are going to calculate the weight of hill pattern i will come up with one more logic building problem in my next video thanks for watching